Hello and welcome to my channel or oh, welcome back if you've already seen my face before but today it's gonna be my vlog cause I know it's another vlog but today I'm going to Wisconsin from Chicago to see Logic and also for Summerfest also I'm sorry if like the this cat quality is really weird and it's shaky but that's because I'm on this kind of like little power shot camera I also can't see myself but yeah this is what we're working with and yeah, I really hope you enjoy this vlog. And yeah. Packing is a current rest right now because I've nearly run out of shoes. And I still haven't even thought about shoes. And this is for Florida. My Wisconsin bag is over here. Because I only need like a change of clothes for Wisconsin. So, so I'm basically done packing for the trip. This is my bag of stuff. I'm only going to be here for one night. So yeah, that's my bag full of stuff. And then that's my suitcase for Florida. All right, it's time to go. Is that my camera? Yeah, I'm borrowing it. All right. Let's go. Where keep talking this door? Uh, all right, thanks. Oh boy, is it hot. I call the back seat. You got back seat? Alright. Yeah, I call the back seat. I would just like to remind everybody that we're only staying there for one night. And yet we have all this stuff. So let's see what. So this is my bag. That's yours. This is mom's. This is dad's. And then that must be dad's work stuff. Oh my gosh, it is so hot. We stopped at an oasis. They're all the way over there. Whoa. I can make your hands clap. We're finally here. We left at 12 and it's like 3 now. Fun. Could be here for one night.
Get to the festival. To get to the end, like there, it's like a mile to get there. trip from Wisconsin and if you only wanted to watch the vlog then thank you for watching but right now I'm gonna talk about my experience at the festival and stuff so if you want to keep watching keep on watching so basically I drove three hours to Summerfest stayed in a hotel like 20 ish minutes away and the one thing that I took away from the festival at the end of the night was that it is not for kids because when you think of a festival I don't know about you, but for me, I think about rides, games, food, but Summerfest is like a music festival. And so there's only like a couple little things, like you saw I had the sky glider. I don't know if I saw it in the, if I got it on camera, but I think I did at the end of the night. There was a Ferris wheel and there was like a golf game and there's a couple of other stuff, but it's mostly just music. Like there was so many stages with so many different cool bands performing. And so like the whole thing, I don't even know how big it is. I, I mean, it had to be like a mile, maybe under. Cause like the sky glide that we went across didn't even go all the way to the end of the festival and it was pretty long. And yeah, it was mostly, and there was a lot of places, it was mostly vendors like with separate little shops selling stuff. Like, I know they were selling clothes and jewelry, and there's like henna tattoos there. And it was really cool, so don't get me wrong, it was really cool. But it was also really hot, and it wasn't really fun at the very beginning, because we got there around like, I wanna say 5, 5.30, the concert didn't start till 7.30. We were kinda just like walking around, and we were like, there's not much to do. We went on the sky glide, we didn't get to go on the Ferris wheel, but, yeah, so I would definitely say it's more for like an adult thing to, for like adults to go and hang out and enjoy music because I didn't see a lot of little kids there. There was mostly teenagers or like, the only time I saw kids was at the actual concert, which was for Logic and Halsey. If anyone cares to know, um, I didn't stay for Halsey because it was, by the time Logic was done, it was already like 10 something. And it was only me and my mom that went. and. How it worked was that when you were in the festival, the American Family Amphitheater was at the very end of the festival, like that's where it stopped. And so me and my mom, we went to the concert and then my brother and dad just stayed walking around the festival. 
which as you can imagine can get boring after a while if you're just walking around because like you don't want to just keep buying food and drinks and by the way the food prices there weren't even that bad like they honestly weren't that bad because i've seen worse there was water bottles were like 450 like bottles of stuff They're like soda too it was like 450 which isn't that bad and then i got a hot dog and fries for dinner and that was like 650 i think so it wasn't that bad but there wasn't much thing the coolest thing i think that was there was probably the sky glider and there was this thing called the cool bus or the chill bus which was basically like a public transportation bus like you know the buses that you see like driving around in the cities and stuff that you can take it was basically that and it was just a giant like cooler like the fans were on and like the cooling system was on in the bus so that was pretty cool and we sat there for a while because we were kind of we were really hot and I mean there was a lot of places of shade but there was a lot of people sitting down in the shade so there wasn't that many places to sit but the bus was pretty cool yeah it was all I, I swear I it was so hot and even in the amphitheater because this is the stage and then all around it were the seats and the seats went up high into the lawn area so it was also blocking the lake so none of the way none of the wind was coming in and I had never felt so gross in my lifetime because of how hot and sweaty it was but it was worth it because see I got to see logic in the end which is pretty dope and um I'm gonna go get the t-shirt that I bought because the lines were like whoo they were long but we got it at the end because how it worked was because it was logic and Halsey and then they had their opening act which was NF and so it started at 7.30, NF went on until like 8, I wanna say. He was on, he went on to like 8-ish, and then Logic didn't come on until 8.30. And then he went to like 9.30-ish, maybe a little less. And then that's when we decided to leave. Because we didn't we didn't really buy the tickets to see Halsey. We didn't really know much of her music and stuff. So we would we so yeah, we just left after that. Parking was pretty good. The, it was really tight because there's a parking garage like right outside the summer fest, festival grounds and stuff. You had to walk a little bit, but it wasn't that far. Would I go back? Probably not unless I'm older with my friends because yeah, like I said, it's more for people who actually like enjoy a lot of music and stuff. Like people who are more open to just like listening to music all day. And it's an 11 day fest. I'm pretty sure it's like the biggest music festival in America or something like that. I don't know, that's what my mom told me. But yeah, I'm gonna go get the shirt so I can show it to you. I just wanted to say too that the tickets weren't that expensive either. Like I was originally gonna go see Logic in Indiana, but I, okay, so I'm filming this the day I get back home, which was the day after the concert. So the day, the concert was on Friday and today it is Saturday. And later on tonight, I'm leaving to Florida. So, I initially was supposed to go see Logic in Indiana like July 1st or something like that. But instead, I went. So I could go see him and then go to Florida. This is a shirt I got. It's a large and pretty cool, right? It's pretty dope. And then it's just got the tortoise on the back. It was so lit. <laughs> But yeah, so that was my experience at Summerfest and seeing Logic on tour. Also, sorry that I, you know, filmed this all on like a smaller camera. It's on a Canon Power Shot. Power Shot. It's got 10 times optical zoom. Fun fact, this was the camera that I started filming YouTube videos on. But I ended up deleting those videos and I wish I hadn't. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And um... This was the filming setup. So that this is the little camera. This is the Katie. By the way, I didn't say this, but I am extremely grateful that I got to go all the way over there. Cause I know for a fact that a lot of people cannot afford to go see their favorite artists and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to say in the words of logic, peace, love, and positivity. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.